so uh, now we are going to talk to you about the, a project that we made, and indeed uh, the result was we built the workshop from scratch uh, to production in one month with Triton. Uh, so first uh, about the, the customer. Uh, the name is Jurassic Free. Uh, the uh, catchphrase is true food made easy. Something like that. Uh, and uh, indeed they deliver uh, food uh, every week to customers. Uh, and it's exotic food that, you, that comes from uh, everywhere in the world. So far. Uh, and they are uh, video and with high quality and so on. So, as I said, they sell fresh food, so uh, every week. <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> uh, and they, they wanted to have a kind of subscription uh, for the customer, so uh, they subscribe to the service and they receive uh, a default box of food uh, every week or every two weeks. Uh, you can check, uh, select. And uh, the week before, the, during the week before they ship it, you can change the default uh, box if you prefer other food, and you can change the, the, what you will get in your box. And, and so they said also uh, <laughs> uh, so uh, that's the, the, the business the requirement uh, one two, two. <laughs> so So there are requirements they needed of course a website to sell to people uh, not all over the world because they ship only in Germany, France, and maybe Switzerland. I don't remember. They started only for Germany. They started only for Germany and, uh, and Austria. Okay. Okay. Uh, so on their website, they needed to create a subscription for the people that wanted to order their, their box of food. They had uh, three type of boxes: small boxes large boxes and extra large boxes uh, and there was no on the first day there, there, is, there was no checkout in the first version there was no checkout they need to put the credit card ah yeah okay and, and so at the end of the process it's, it was just a standard uh, web shop processes where you selected the box you subscribe for the box during, I don't know, uh, how many times you want. And uh, you have the checkout process where you enter your uh, credit card uh, number and uh, it was processed with the Stripe uh, module we created. Uh, also, if I remember correctly, they had a special need where they needed to um, to give um, a rebate on the 12th uh, box that they, the people uh, order. So you buy 11, uh, 11 boxes and the 12th one will have a rebate according to the price you paid for and so on. So it was kind of complicated. No? There was also the delivery process that uh, we needed to implement. Uh, for the delivery, they needed to wait each product because you can order, let's say, uh, six or seven apples, but the apples you will pay by by the weight, and it depends on what you what it weighs, of course. And so every time they wait each product, they put it in a box. They have a huge uh, uh, warehouse, and they. The, the, the boxes uh, go from one, one man to another and each man is responsible 
for putting the right foods in the box. And they needed to make a, a label for the carrier because they are using, I don't remember the name, uh, UPS. UPS. Uh, also, of course, for the payment, they needed uh, to process credit cards or SIPA payment or uh, so forth, which is a German payment gateway. Or? Banking payment. By ah, okay. And uh, for the credit card, we use the Stripe uh, module. For the SEPA payment, uh, we use the default uh, SEPA. It's also Stripe? Ah, yes, it's Stripe, too, but. Uh, yeah. okay. And so forth also. And for the subscription, we created a custom module. Yeah. Stripe as support? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> and for the subscription, we created a custom module for them where they can put the frequency and uh, define uh, the box templates that they want to create every week. Let's, because of course you cannot have the same template in December as in uh, June, because the, the food are not the same. Cause you will have a lot of able now and, I don't know, a mango or something like that in June. Uh, and indeed, there was another requirement is that the product is not always available. Uh, it depends on the season and when the, the food are harvested or not, and so on. So we need to, to define each product when you can buy it, because it depends on the season. Yes, sir? And uh, so, uh, the way we, uh, we tackle the, the problem is that we try to make a first minimal viable product. So we simplify everything we could in the requirements to take only the smallest needs to make something that is working and they can put life and they can start to uh, make business. Because the one requirement, uh, one the prospectors, that they wanted in one month to be live because they were uh, taking customers for a former business that was closing and it was closing in one month and so they would like to make to continue the, the delivery of the same services to, the, to those customers that will be redirected to the, <coughs> the new web shop. Uh, and so the minimal workflow that we uh, selected was to have so, the box template that we used. Uh, so that's uh, what Nicola will explain. Uh, uh, the succession, so we create an object, a uh, model or document for succession that creates a cell order every week. And um, uh, we needed to implement the style uh, payment and with the particularity that when the customer validates his order, uh, he has an amount, but this amount is not what he will really pay, because depending on what will be shipped <coughs> and the weight, the amount may uh, change, so we cannot make it pay when he validates the order, but only when we ship. And so we need to implement the uh, two step uh, credit card uh, payment, which is first we reserve a specific uh, amount on the credit card of the customer, and uh, later we can take a different amount, but at least this is the, the uh, an amount uh, in the, the same or a little bit uh, less, or less. Well, not necessarily a little bit. <laughs> Uh, and so the, the first step guarantees us that we can pick this amount from the credit card of the customer. It's reserved on this credit card for us for a period that sinks seven days. So we have seven days to process the order and get the money. So there is a, a method of, uh, with credit card to manage that. And so 
Also, we had to implement uh, to store this payment, this authorization, on the same, uh, because we don't have yet accounting stuff. We don't have the invoice when the sale is validated, but we need to have the payment already, so uh, we need to have the payment on the sale and not after. Uh, for the website, Uh, so we didn't design the website because uh, you might have seen the B2CK website. So you understand why we didn't design the website. No. So we received uh, the website from uh, from a designer sketch, and uh, we made template Flask templates. Uh, in fact, it's Jinja templates, but we don't care. And uh, we integrated them in, in the, the Flask application. Uh, there was at the time two pages. So the main page, which is the landing page for the people, where we explain uh, everything. And uh, on this page, you can click on one box or the other, and it brings you to the subscription page. Um, afterwards, there was a need uh, to, to have uh, on, this, uh, on this page, on the left side, the catalog of the available fruits and the cart with all the fruits you can have. Well, it's the standard cart. And uh, we need also to, uh, of course, provide login uh, access to the people so they can manage their profile. They can manage their addresses if they want to be delivered uh, at some different points, their contact information, and also the payment uh, mean they want to use. So it was live after one month. We were pretty proud because uh, it was a tight schedule, but uh, we managed to do it. What next? <laughs> So, once it's live, indeed the project isn't really finished. Uh, the customers start to ask new features and, and so on. So, we started to go into a second cycle in the development of the website, uh, which is adding new features. So, the first feature that appears, at least uh, one week after the live, is that they wanted to also to sell without subscription. <laughs> so we had to manage to, to, make, to take order just for one time. Uh, this was a little bit complicated because everything was based on the subscription. <laughs> so we had to tackle and to revise the internal <coughs> stuff. Uh, but this website was always live and we just of the company uh, They wanted to support also deposit payment. Uh, so uh, apparently in Germany, not everybody, it's not so common to have a credit card. And so there are uh, many customers that doesn't have a credit card. Uh, and they want just to send some money to the company and send it later uh, by buying uh, boxes. So we have to support deposit payment, so make a deposit to the company. Uh, we had to implement the SEPA payments. We could not implement it in one month because uh, we use Stripe for processing the payments and Stripe doesn't activate for you the SEPA payments uh, until you have processed enough credit card payments. So they want to get a kind of trust with your business. Uh, before giving you access to the SEPA, because with SEPA you can take money from uh, anybody uh, in Europe at least. Uh, and so it's a uh, more kind of dangerous because there is no application with the customer and they wanted to be sure that you are 
the clean business. Uh, they also started to ask uh, to they want to make pre uh, pre uh, prepare in advance some boxes that the, the cell exists. So we have to activate the production modules of Triton to produce boxes that are just one product now and you don't have to choose uh, what you get in, in, in it. Uh, we also needed to implement notification because they want to notify the customer that the order, the new order is being created when the subscription uh, is running, uh, that the invoice has been uh, sent with uh, the invoice attached uh, and so on, or that the order has been cancelled, or the shipping is has been sent and will arrive uh, with this delivery number from the UPS and can track it and so on. So to manage that, we make uh, a new release every week since uh, the, we, we go live and uh, we make small ch uh, change one after each other uh, to, to, yeah, to improve the, the system and to not make big bang change because uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's easier and we have already users so we should not uh, lose them uh, by changing everything uh, every week. Uh, of course, we make some fine tuning because we, we get feedback from users that are sometimes lost or, or didn't understand the feature or something uh, that could be improved. And of course, the bug fixing. Uh, once we start with uh, people coming to the website, they discover all the bugs. Uh, and also, we have to monitor and uh, support the, the daily job of, uh, of Triton and uh, fix what scale. Uh, sometimes we have uh, yeah, important bugs that, that can appear and could block the, uh, the business. So, we can make a demo. Yeah? Uh, so, this is the website. Uh, yeah, no, the screen is a little bit slow, small. Uh, uh, <coughs> more like that. Uh, this is the, the test, uh, the, the, the test uh, website we use, um, so they can test it for, uh, uh, before going live. Uh, so you see the, the main page that we did on the line, that break all the buttons and, and so on. Uh, here you have the three options. You can you can uh, see uh, take a box or uh, take an order from, from there. Select the subscription that you want, or just browse the catalog to see the products that they have. Uh, we have here, they can decide to put that, uh, in front some product that they want to sell more, uh, and so that they are available directly from here, and I can directly, if I click uh, on it, if that works, okay. Up, I add it to my cart automatically, um, and I'm not plugging, so the system doesn't know me, but he already starts to, to create, to, to fill uh, an order. I can continue and treat the, the put more product in it, and so on. And so you have here the, the, the cart that it is filling, each time I click and add products. I have the total amount <coughs> that is filled uh, automatically and an estimation of the way uh, the boss will I can now do the checkout. So first, I have to log in because I need, we need to, to process the checkout. We need to know who I am. Um, 
So now he knows, he knows me, he knows my address, uh, because I already registered it in my profile, but I can add new addresses or select another existing one. Uh, I can choose between different uh, uh, carrier, and if I choose one that is obviously not valid, because I'm in Berlin, so I cannot use uh, UPS francs to delivery. Uh, it tells me, and I can validate. So I will check, take uh, UPS Express. Uh, I have to put a payment address. So I can add a new credit card, for example. I have to pop up for the credit card. This is uh, a testing number for credit card from uh, Stripe. So it always works, but um, yeah. And so now it's sending the information to Stripe and create the profile, and I have the, the credit card uh, ready at the first address. I can apply quotient code. It's a new module we developed, so it can apply uh, promotion on the, on the order. And I just click back now. And now I have my order uh, done, and I can, uh, indeed I can open it back again, because as the, this, uh, they ship once a week, until uh, the day before the start to ship, I think it's, it's on that? No. Yes. Friday? Friday? Uh, you can, uh, even if you have done the checkout, you can, change your order until this day and redo the checkout or you can consent if you want so here you have the list of all your <coughs> previous orders and you can edit or restart the same order and uh, we have also the subsection here I can select one of the type of boxes and request to be shipped, to receive one every two weeks. I validate. And uh, yeah, here I have already a uh, running subscription, so it takes it that uh, it changes it changed the existing subscription with the one I just cho choose. Uh, and here the subs subscription page is quite similar to the checker page. Uh, you select the, the shipping address, uh, the payment method, and uh, you can again change which type of uh, boxes. Uh, you can put the, the subscription on pause. If you, for example, if you go on vacation, you don't want to receive uh, the new, uh, new uh, box, uh, boxes when you are not there, and start it back again uh, later. And here is it's my current <coughs> subscription order. Uh, I have nothing because apparently there is no template for this week in the test uh, server. But normally it should have uh, some products. Yeah. And, and I can eat, but and here I have no, as it's, it's a subscription order, I have no checkout because automatically uh, we have the credit card and the subsection and everything is already defined. I can just change here uh, the carrier if I want to, to use another one. And it's saved automatically in the background. So, yeah. uh, I think so. Ah, it's uh, responsible. So, responsive. Maybe it's also responsible. <laughs> <laughs> and, and you can switch between your, the, the, the catalog here and your the card, which is here. So,
Yeah, uh, yeah. Just finish. So the result of this uh, uh, development is that we have created new modules for Python. So the same payment module to process payment before uh, validate the same. The same shipment tolerance. tolerance. Uh, this is to allow to validate that the shipment has been done even if the weight of the product is a little bit less than what the customer will uh, ask it. <coughs> Uh, the account payment stripe that was already a little bit started, but we improved it a lot to support uh, all the features we need. The notification email, the sale promotion coupon to support coupon, uh, and we developed it, uh, the Cenex application for pack, uh, pack and ship on, on the warehouse. Uh, yeah, and that's all. Uh, did you um, encounter any problems issue? Because a workshop in your feed is a different kind of flow. So, do we have some performance issue? Uh, we did some. Uh, for example, for to compute the price, because we use price list. Uh, but we mainly we solve it because. Um, because at some point we were computed product by product. Uh, instead of uh, uh, computing a bunch for all the products, all the price uh, at once. Uh, but maybe we will have to improve uh, again this. Uh, I think it's the bottom deck of the website for now. It's really the computation of the price. Because uh, moreover, here you see the one that we compute a price from another price list and show that it's lower, like if there is a uh, promotion. Uh, so we have to make two computations, and the price list computation is also not uh, simple. So maybe we will have to put on cash there. But for now, it's okay because they have too much product. And it's a separate instance, or is it the same Python server that is internally? It's the same Python server. We didn't have the choice of the hosting. They wanted to, uh, to manage the server. I have a question about how you manage uh, client profile. Ah. I mean, uh, the how the you create a user for, for each profile? User in a... We use the, the web, we use the web user uh, module of Triton and this... Uh, and so you have there your uh, information about login and security. This is the web user part. But this part is handled by the uh, party address. And if I remember correctly, the uh, web user is linked to a party. That so uh, you, so you can reach then the contact there and the payment method is... Uh, yeah. The web user is a standard module from a standard Yeah, yes, web user. Web user is managed just the email address and the password. Mm -hmm. It's there as a link to a party. For the zero, I guess. Maybe for the Yeah. Uh, yeah, the only point is that uh, indeed we create a party, an empty party, once the, uh, once the user starts to fill uh, the cart, even if it's not login, yeah. we create a party, but a blank party, a party has no any required field, uh, and when he starts to register, we take this party and we link it to the user. And uh, if he starts, we manage also, if he starts an order, it's not uh, login, uh, and start to and log in into the system with an existing user, uh, we transfer this order to the to his own Merging. official party and we just remove the yeah. temporary party. 
actually a second question. Uh, in, um, uh, you have the new expression as a library from Slack, or uh, you, you call it a uh, yeah, It's, I don't <laughs> Do we use Triton as a library or if we have a communication with us? We use uh, the first Triton modules that we wrote. So it used, it, uh, it imports Triton uh, into the Flask, uh, the Flask application. And so we have two separate instances, the web the web service, the website uh, process, and uh, the Triton V for the Yapping part. So we, but they run on the same machine. You don't do the same, uh, the same instance for back, uh, back up, and the uh, port? Yeah, no, it's hosted on the same instance, but we use two processes. Okay. Yeah. That's, uh, yeah. It's just in a but I, of course it's the same thing. No other question? No other question? Thank you.